The Twins by John Morton. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today we're doing another review of one of the tricks that after Blackpool all people were talking about to me in my community anyway seemed to be the twins. It was strap metal and the twins were like the two things. I've already done strap metal, so let's talk about the twins. So the twins is a trick by John Morton, which hand routine that everybody was talking about. It was I think the bargain as well of Blackpool. It's an absolutely amazing product. So Let's talk about it, see what we think about it, and let's see what goes. So let's talk about, to begin with, what you get if you order The Twins by John Morton. So you've placed your order of just £10, which is a bargain in and of itself, but we'll talk more about that in a minute, to John Morton, and you get The Twins. So you've placed your order, what do you actually get? So the first thing you get is written instructions, which I'll be talking about very soon. So that's the instructions you get, and you also get these three poker chips so you get two black poker chips and two white poker chips for the routine if you've seen the live performance you know what that's for so if you haven't i'll just talk quickly someone holds two black poker chips they swap one for the white poker chip and then you're able to tell them where the white poker chip is classic witch hand routine it's nice that with the two poker chips both their hands will automatically look the same because there's nothing worse than you're doing a witch hand and one person the person's like this and like this and it's like oh i think i know even without any magic skill i know where the object is so having them holding a poker chip in each hand it's really nice and it makes sense to the audience which is really cool so pretty much that's what you get if you pick the order you get the written instructions and the poker chips and the poker chips as well are great quality so there's a nice amount of weight to them they're hard there's no problem with them at all like they this. they're just regular poker chips and nice weight to them nice feel to them and they'll definitely last so that's what you get so now let's talk about the instructions that you get and what they're like so the instructions now for the instructions for this is just written instructions you get about two pages that you can read through and it explains everything so in the instructions you get the routine with the poker chips that you might have seen john doing videos online or you may have seen him demo at blackpool so you get that the instructions the instructions even though they're only text they're really clear that immediately you know what to do they're very well explained you have no problem knowing the secret with this it's just a basic routine of how it's presented as a tree phase which hand routine so that's what what you get with it with the instructions and then it says this is the goal that i have to agree in the instructions you also find out how to do an impromptu version of this so if you don't have the poker chips on you you can still do an amazing witch hand routine that with objects that are just around you can just borrow objects and go straight into an amazing witch hand routine which is something that just having that knowledge in your brain is going to make sure that you can hit powerful mentalism or magic anywhere you are and it's one of the best impromptu witch hand routines i think i've i've seen in a very long time it's absolutely incredible super easy to do uh the impromptu version as well with the um with the written instructions so definitely instructions even though they're only text they're a quick read you get through it you understand what you need to do and everything is really covered there so that's the instruction so let's move on to something i hinted about a little is this difficult so is this a difficult trick no it's it's quite it's quite a simple trick once you have the poker chips and you start reading the instructions and messing around with it you'll pick it up very easy there's is going to be a bit of practice to it so that you can do everything smoothly and nobody thinks of anything looks suspicious or anything like that so that might take a bit of practice and because of the written instructions not really seeing an over-the-shoulder choreography or anything really in-depth you just have to watch john's performance that is online and uh, go through the written instructions to really find that out but i think you pick that up really quickly and i think it becomes more natural then because you're not just mimicking someone else you're actually coming up with your own presentation and how you'd feel comfortable doing it so that's where i think the difficulty for people might lie is just getting a good routine around it because it's it's, it's kind of like a tool that you can use to create your own routine whether you want to do like a lie detection thing or a body language thing or maybe even just that you you can use the twins presentation where the two black chips are attracted to each other and they they know so there's so many different ways and you can tweak it to your own presentation so that's where i really see the practice and the difficulty is coming up with a unique and interesting way of presenting the witch hand routine so you're not just doing the same thing so from the technical point of view it's very simple so now we're going to move on to steve's questions and see what steve asked about this 
So Steve's questions. Those of you who watch the podcast know that my co-host on the podcast is Steve Spate, and he always asks me the same questions whenever I get a new product because he is a lot more picky with what he buys and I tend to buy pretty much everything. So the first question he asks always is, will I do it? And with this, I'll definitely do it. I think having these poker chips, I might carry them around a little bag or something just to keep them on me that I can use this. But I think the thing that I will really use and the where I can see myself doing a lot more is the... Uh, impromptu version so I'll definitely be doing both versions and I think definitely this is going to be something I do so Steve's second question is if I'm happy with my purchase yes I'm definitely happy with the purchase I think the price of this at £10 it's it's a bargain like even a lot of downloads are more than £10 and with this you actually get physical props with it the one thing I will say is if you're buying this with the directly from John what you want to do is uh, I'd see if you could buy something else with it or something like that because Outside of the UK, the shipping can be like this. It's the same price as the trick. But so for me, I spend about 20 on it. I think it, I'm happy to pay 20 for it. I think it's worth it. So if you're going to buy it, I'd advise maybe seeing if you can get something else. John has a lot of great things. So you could buy something else with it and see if that like it can work out the shipping. But to be fair, even at 20, that's you, you're getting cool poker chips that you can use. A routine that you will always have in your head to be able to do a witch hand routine in any moment. I think even for 20 that's pretty good so i'm definitely ha happy with my purchase the next question is should steve get one he knows i've, I've told him he should <laughs> it's one of those uh it's really cool i think it's uh the book chips it's cool things i think it's, it's it's one of those routines that which hand is something we've talked about a lot and messed around with ourselves so it's definitely a routine i can see him doing and it, for just knowing the impromptu version alone is worth the price because that's what you're going to have in your head and the last question is is there anything else like it out there? So there are witch hand routines out there. There are things like Tequila Hustler and all these other ones that you can have all the time. This, the me method wise, this is based on techniques that are used in different areas. Don't want to give too much away, but from just a routine with the two poker chips and everything, I don't think it's anything that's like a straight substitute. And with witch hand routines, especially in impromptu situations, it's great to have multiple ones so that you can use the, the right tool for the right environment. So I definitely think it's worth getting it up and there's nothing exactly like it out there. So there's Steve's question. So now I'm going to move on to frequently asked questions. So for this one, the question that I've been seeing and getting a lot about this trick is where can I get it? This is a trick that you can get it directly from John himself at custommagic.co.uk or I just reached out to him through Facebook and was able to pay him through PayPal and he was able to ship it over to me. So the best way to get this is directly with through John, either through his website, custommagic.co.uk or if you know him on Facebook, just reach out to him there and he will be able to send you the details so you can pay for this with PayPal and get it sent over to you. That's the real question I've seen. A lot of people have kind of all the questions around method which i'm not going to go into and again if somebody mentions method in the comments those comments get deleted it's amazing how many people openly talk about methods on a public forum so we won't be going into anything like that there but yeah that's the question if you want to get this go directly to john morton so that is the frequently asked question for this week so the next bit is about anything i don't like about this there's nothing i really don't like about it it's just things that maybe i would prefer i like video instructions i learn better visually so i definitely think that would help me in a way and even just from i've watched the performance of the routine but i think some more performances and things like that of it i think would be really cool so they're just little things just that you could add into it there's nothing in the trick i specifically don't like but i think me personally i learn better from video instructions so that is something that could be added in so ratings those of you who watched this before know i don't give like 100 percent rating any sort of percentages max out of five nothing to me, my rating is about will I be performing this and if so, where? So this is something that I can see myself using these poker chips at a gig, have these as something that I just carry around maybe in the little pocket in my waistcoat, leave them in there, have them with me. I will be also using this as a as a carry around. I wouldn't do it on stage. I have other methods I would use on stage, but close up, I will be definitely comfortable using this uh, there and also everyday carry with the impromptu versions that's in my head so for me my rating for this is the impromptu version is everyday carry in my head and these will be going straight into my close-up bag so that's my review of the twins nice and short one good quality made props nice instructions that are just text-based not in video but what you get is an amazing trick with the poker chips an amazing impromptu version that you'll always have on you for 10 pounds like it's the bargain of the magic community right now so definitely recommend going checking it out from john picking it up and it's just one of those other 
tools to have in your arsenal and have the knowledge in your head ready to kill people with magic whenever you want. So that's the review and make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button if you like this. Comment below if you have this or if you have any other questions about it, I'll be happy to answer them as long as, again, nothing about methods in the comments, people, come on. And check, make sure you come back, check out the podcast that we had this week. We had Ben Williams, we have more podcasts coming up, so make sure you check them out. Hit the like, share the video with all your magic friends who are interested in this. We really appreciate it. The subscribe count has been going up lately. So thanks again to everyone and we'll see you again next week.